Hello, hello, hello. Right, I don't usually do these two camera things. This is a wine box guitar and it is uh, a healthier option to a cigar box guitar. Uh, nearly in tune. Um, right, um, yeah, the, the concept was to make a, um, a four-string, five-string banjo upside-down dulcimer. So it's fretted like a dulcimer. But um, it's got an extra fret here. Which makes um, other keys accessible and different scales and modes. strum it. And you can do banjo stuff. I thought I'd do the talk bit because um, I'll tell you what not to do. Um, yeah, lots of mistakes, which I didn't discover until it was finished. Um, the whole thing is based on this neck, which was actually a neck for a different project, which is incomplete. And uh, so, therefore, this slotty thing is not ideal and it's got bizarre wiring up inside it. It really is bizarre. To try and compensate for the flat, it's not flat. And I try to keep the strings as straight as possible. Um, the other thing I, I was going to do, um, I thought, right, I'm a little high string. The bottom, good idea. And I was going to put a banjo peg in there. And then I thought, ah, instead I could just put some screws in. And that'll hold it down on that fret. Which you normally the fifth fret, but it's the fourth fret on this one. And that'll work. And then when I finished it, I discovered that actually I may as well have not bothered with that and just had it tuned high and left it down there. Also, this gets in the way of that fret. When you're trying to do... Hmm. Um, yeah, the, I think that should actually have a, um, a fret on top of it to stop the strings cutting through the wood. And um, I'll probably do that later. A good thing is this. For monitoring which is a great uh, idea and in the inside uh, um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll do a soundtrack to go with the pictures uh, using this and uh, yeah make stuff because it's fun